All right, I wanted to film a video to talk about negotiation skills because it seems to be a little known fact that basically all these like fees and charges that big companies like banks or like telephone companies or whatever, all these fees and charges that they, they hit you with, a lot of the times that stuff's negotiable. And even like rates on like interest rates on credit cards or um, like your telephone plan or whatever, like all this stuff is usually negotiable to an extent. And the reason I was talking about it is because I just got off the phone to my bank because I basically got hit with a $50 interest charge on my credit card because normally what I do is I, I use credit cards to buy stuff and then I pay it off every single month to avoid paying any interest. But this month I just, I completely forgot to transfer the money. So yeah, for being a day late, basically got hit with this $50 interest charge and, and, and yeah, I just called the bank before and managed to, to get that refunded and I thought it might make an interesting video. So I actually filmed the call and I'll play the clip at the end of this video. Um, but just before I played it, I just wanted to talk a bit about negotiation just because it really is a lucrative skill to, to develop. Cause if you think about it, like most people are happy to work in a job for like say $20 an hour. And some people might see like a fee on their bank statement or whatever and and they'll kind of say like, oh, I can't really be bothered calling out the bank and sort of trying to get it reversed or whatever. Like it's not really worth my time. But if you actually like look at the numbers, like using this call as an example, I was on the phone for 10 minutes, including hold time, and I managed to get that $50 refund. So if you expand that out to an hourly rate, that's $300 an hour because I, for 10 minutes of work, I got $50. So $300 an hour is obviously a fantastic rate of pay. And if people are willing to work for $20 an hour, you should definitely be willing to work for $300 an hour. So I think it's a really good skill to develop. And, and there's kind of, there's just four steps that I use or that I keep in mind when I'm planning negotiation. So I'll go through them. So the first thing is you got to get the facts in order. So you, a lot of times you could just call up and, and ask for a refund or whatever, or ask to have some fee waived and they, they most likely do it, but it's good to have the facts in order. So in the case of this call, I just said before, I, I made sure that I knew all the numbers, like I knew how much was owing, I knew when it was due, I knew all the facts so that I could give it to the the person on the phone. And it wasn't just like me flying blind. And it's important to do that just because you just need to know what's exactly what the fees were and like what the conditions were and all that, because otherwise you, you just get frazzled on the phone. So having all your facts in order is important. And number two is you got to have a plan. So whenever I like do one of these negotiation calls, I always like go in thinking they're going to say no, like at least four times because sometimes that will happen. And unfortunately this call that I filmed was actually a really easy one. They said yes straight away, but, but sometimes you have to go through like four no's to get a yes. And, um, and a lot of the times like people they'll call up and they'll just say, can you please refund this? And then they say no. And they're like, uh, and they don't know what to say. So, I like, for example, in this case, I had my first ask where I was saying, can you please refund this? I'd like to get this waived. Um, and then I planned for if they say no to that, I'd basically say, well, if you have a look at your records, I've, I've been a customer of yours for about 10 years. I've, I always pay off this credit card in full. Um, how can you help me? Like, what can you do to help me? And then if they said no to that, I had another plan. So I'm like a like part of their like awards program or whatever, like um, sort of awards points, which you can redeem for stuff. And so then if they had said no to that, I would have said, well, if you can't refund the, the cash, like how can you help me in terms of this awards points program? And then if they said no to that, I had another layer of, well, not threatening to cancel, but basically saying like, well, I'm gonna, I'm considering canceling this credit card just cause I don't wanna get hit with these fees in the future. So just confirming like you're saying you can't help me at all. So I had all these like layers planned out so that if, if it did come to that on the phone, I had it all planned out. And number three is you've got to be polite, but firm. So 
so many people approach negotiations the wrong way in like a really adversarial way. So they'll, they'll come in and they'll like try and demand something and just like hassle the, the person on the phone. And you got to think of it from their point of view, like this person's in a call center and literally their job is to, to take calls from angry customers who are complaining about something all day, every day. And if you were that person taking just another call from another angry person, like you don't actually want to help them. Like they, it's their job. So they kind of have to be nice to you, but, but they don't actually want to help you. And, and if you are actually almost like approaching them as like a friend and you're sort of like asking for help, they, they'll really appreciate that because that doesn't happen very often in their job. So they'll, they'll actually want to help you. And so, yeah, negotiation isn't about like beating the other person down and it's about how can like we, how can we resolve this? How can you help me? That kind of mentality. And having said that you do have to be, so you've got to be polite, but you've got to be firm as well. So you can't, don't make it easy for them to say no to you. So a lot of people, they don't like conflict. So they'll say, uh, can you please do this? Like, can you please refund this money? And it's just easy for them to say, no, we can't like it's against our policy or whatever. But so the better questions are, you got to be firm. So say like, I would like this fee waived, please. Or how can you help me? So if you say like, how can you help me? They can't just say no to that. Like it sort of keeps the negotiation going and like they have to actually like think of something cause they can't just shut you down. So they're more likely to like maybe offer you something else. Like if they can't give you exactly what you need, they might be able to offer you something else. And the fourth point is at the end of the day, like you can't win them all. So a lot of stuff is negotiable. Like you'd be surprised at the extent at which stuff is negotiable, but not everything, you're not going to win every single thing. So, um, there comes a point where if you get to like four no's or whatever, and they're still pretty firm in their position, then there's no point like continuing. Like I've had plenty where I haven't got what I wanted, but I've also had plenty where I did. So, um, yeah, don't, don't get too hung up if you don't get exactly what you want. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to play the clip now of the, the call I had. And like I said, it was, I was hoping they'd be a bit tougher, but, but big companies, like one thing you got to understand is that it costs them so much money to acquire a customer. It's just simple. It's practicality for them. Like it's just numbers. Like they're not going to want to lose your business over like a $50 fee because it costs them. Like I think the average customer acquisition cost for a bank is like $300 per person or something when you take into account all the marketing they have to do and, and all that kind of stuff. So like, they're not going to like piss you off and, and have you threatened to leave the bank just for the sake of a $50 fee there. They're, they're more than happy to refund it to keep your business and keep you happy. So, um, yeah, so consumers really these days have all the power. So I'll, I'll play the clip now and hope you find it interesting. Hey Lisa, how are you? Good, good, thank you. Yeah, so I was just looking at my credit card statement for last month and I just needed your help with something, please. Yeah, so it was for the statement period, which was 11th of July to 9th of August. And the amount due was $1,461.49, which was due on the 4th of September. Now, I paid $1,048.06 on the 14th of August. So the remaining outstanding was $413.43. And I actually missed the 4th of September due date for the rest. And I had the money ready to go and it was simply just a case of forgetting to transfer. So, um, but I have now paid that remaining outstanding as of yesterday, which was the 9th. And I just noticed that I got charged $51.93 interest because of that late payment. And if you have a look like back at your records, like you'll see I've been obviously a customer for, for at least the last 10 years and I've been using this credit card for at least four years now and I've, I've always paid it off the balance in full. So I'd like to have that interest charge waived, please. Yep. 
Cool. No, that was, that was it. Thank you very much. That's perfect. Thanks so much for your help. Really appreciate it. Okay, bye. Thanks, Lisa. Bye. Boom. That's how you get your money back from the bank. All right. So, yeah, that was... That's how you get your money back from the bank. So, um, yeah, I hope you found that interesting, useful. And, and to be clear as well, like this isn't like all like my ideas or anything like this. There's a guy called Ramit Sethi who, who puts out a lot of good stuff and, and all these like negotiation skills, um, I sort of first introduced to them, to them through him. So I'm going to put a link below as well to, to his, his blog and his pages because they were really useful for me and and yeah I think just negotiation is is a really good skill to develop and a lot of it makes a lot of people uncomfortable but it really is a lucrative skill and a good skill to have so um and yeah maybe it's it's just interesting because so much is negotiable because as I was saying before like consumers really do have the power these days in terms of um there's so many like choices in terms of banks and and lending providers and all that so um yeah just Keep that in mind and don't be afraid next time you get some some bs charge don't be afraid to call up and try and get it back because you probably will all right i hope that helps uh, please subscribe to these videos if you like them i'll keep putting out more and we'll speak soon